And we have some uh, breaking news just coming in. Germany's Conservative bloc has agreed on Armin Laschet to be its candidate for uh, Chancellor in the country's upcoming elections this fall. His rival, Markus Söder, conceded the race just moments ago. So let's go straight to our chief political correspondent, chief political editor, rather, Michaela Kufner. For more on this, uh, Michaela, big news there. The CDU finally seems to have an undisputed candidate to succeed, Angela Merkel. Is that true? Yes, although undisputed, uh, it was a, a bumpy road to this. Uh, we just heard Marco Söder, the leader of the much smaller CSU sister party of Angela Merkel's mighty conservative CDU party, essentially concede defeat in a competition that really wasn't formal. It was a very informal, bruising competition where Marcus Söder questioned whether Armin Laschet should really be in pole position to be on the ticket pointing towards those opinion polls uh, here in Germany, which have seen Marco Suda continuously in the lead for some time. Armin um, Laschet will have a, quite a bit of bouncing back to do. There was also a late night session, which even saw one of Angela Merkel's closest allies, uh, German uh, economics minister Altmaier, back Söder, and then do a, a turnaround today. So a lot of bruising stuff, a lot of noise to come to the point which was was seen as a given that Armin Laschet, the CDU leader, is also on the ticket to become Chancellor candidate. Michaela, stay with us. We'll come back to you in a moment. Let's first have a look at the CDU candidate in more detail. Merkel ally, Carnival King, committed European. There are many faces to Armin Laschet. But does he have what it takes to be German Chancellor? According to Laschet, his position as state premier of North Rhine-Westphalia, Germany's most populous state, and his victory to get there is proof enough. His election as CDU party leader in January 2021 put him in prime position to run for chancellor. Backed by the CDU's top brass, Laschet says he aspires to make the 2020s a decade of modernization for Germany. My candidature my candidacy, my understanding of the German chancellorship is a European one. The whole of Europe is watching to see how Germany finds new leadership at this time. And we need multilateral solutions for every problem that is a global one. The 60-year-old Rhinelander's commitment to Europe has been years in the making. Born in the western city of Aachen, close to the Dutch and Belgian borders, Laschet is a former member of the European Parliament and fluent in French. His family even claims to be descendants of Charlemagne, founder of the Holy Roman Empire. Across the Atlantic, he wants to push for more cooperation with the US, particularly on climate and trade policy. Some of his comments on Russia, Syria and China, however, have raised eyebrows. In just one instance in 2014, his warnings against demonizing Russian President Vladimir Putin for the annexation of Crimea earned him the title of Russlandversteher from some critics, a derogatory term for people who take a soft stance on Putin's Russia. As leader of the German federal state with the closest ties to China, concerns about protecting German export industries have also led to his more lenient stance towards the world's second largest economy, drawing allegations that he puts business interests above security. For the large part, however, his politics are moderate, centre-ground and Merkel-esque, making him a long-time ally to the Chancellor. That was until the COVID-19 pandemic. Despite Merkel's repeated calls for unity from state leaders, Laschet has often opted for a looser interpretation of measures to tackle the pandemic. But poor crisis communication has seen his popularity plummet with voters, not only in his home state. Stability and continuity used to be the key to success among German voters. Now it seems Laschet will need to be more than just the Rheinland Merkel if he wants to fill her shoes in the chancellery. Well, let's go back to our chief political editor, Michaela Kufner. Michaela, big shoes to fill nonetheless, following up behind Angela Merkel. Is he up to it? Hmm. 
Well, he was uh, very often asked in his time whether he's up to it, and he always came through, he always came on top. He's one of those people who are underestimated continuously, as he just has been, by his contender Marco Suda of Bavaria, who says he will now stand side by side with Armin Laschet. Now, despite the fact that he is now officially the chancellor candidate, as official as you can get, because there's no such formalized process, he um, did see a lot of doubts being sowed, over, particularly over those past days. And those debates that were had won't be forgotten. They will continue within his own conservative CDU-CSU camp. So it will be even more of an uphill struggle for him from now um, to get rid of those question marks over his name and over the chances of success under someone on the ticket who is seen as a continuation of Merkel politics, who is seen as a male Merkel, which may simply not fly as a new departure for Germany and for her Conservative Party. Uh, Michaela, how damaging was this very public bickering that we've uh, seen? Are voters unhappy uh, with the party? Briefly, if you can. Well, it was certainly uh, very damaging uh, amongst the party grassroots here. Interestingly, the CDU didn't suffer more in the polls. It had recently over the poor performance on vaccinations in this pandemic response. So um, the big question now will be what will come in those coming weeks, uh, whether Armin Laschet uh, will be responsible for an upward or a downward trend. Uh, currently, the CDU stands in the upper 20s in the polls. It has been higher in the past, and he now has to at least defend this. Our chief political editor, Michaela Kufner. Thank you very much, Michaela.